Have you ever made a long journey on foot through the countryside? Told stories round the campfire late into the night? Well, if you do, make sure you follow a spark from the fire high into the dark sky. And when it is as high as it can go, make a wish. And then that magical moment will stay with you forever. Someone's been here before me. They must have collected every scrap of wood. I can hardly find any. What am I gonna do for a fire? Oh well. Oh, what did I do? Thank you. Hmm. Fare you well. Sleep sound, rest in peace. <gasps> Until the day sacred day, when you will be born again. Farewell. <coughs> Who's that? Oh, please forgive me for disturbing you. My name is Erica. What's yours? My friends call me Robin. Oh, Robin. So what were you doing, huh? You saw me? Well, mm-hmm. Robin, oh, what am I to do? I'm gonna ask you something, and I want an honest answer. Yes. You seem to be trustworthy. This isn't easy. You must never speak about what you've seen here, nor must you ever bring anyone to this place without my express permission. Oh. Until you are one with the woods, my Robin until you will humbly allow all life into your heart. Oh, you can trust me? I've said a prayer, Robin, a prayer to nature. You must have faith and wait. I don't ask you to understand, but to believe. Do you? Will you obey me? Promise. Yes, I promise. That is good. All will be well if you remain in harmony with nature. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. If that is so, you will not forget me then, Robin. <laughs> going on here huh she was real she was that's no dream Erica Erica what was that nearly woke me up Robin was over that way what do you think that noise can be well funny noise for a forest huh Sounds neat. No, I don't like it. What's happening? It sounds like a bell. Yeah, and with this heavy fog coming down, Jenny and Winifred will get lost. Huh? Robin? Huh? Robin, can you hear me? Hey, over here! Robin! Hey, Robin, come back! 
He's disappeared. Oh. Ah! oh no, I don't believe it. I saw Robin's ghost. <laughs> don't be so silly, Winifred. <gasps> no, listen. I saw Robin's ghost. It just appeared out of thin air over there. Well, it's not there now. Isn't it? Weird. Got to follow. Made a promise. Oh, where am I? Oh. What the? Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Robin, is that you? Oh, forgive me. There. <laughs> Magicians? Erica, do I look like a magician? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never seen charcoal burners before. Well, you have now, and the wood is very good in this forest. Now I know why I couldn't find any more wood for my fire. And what was that bell? The bell is rung to honor the spirits. We were praying to the spirits of the forest. Spirits? Of the forest? Yes, the forest gives us our living. For the abundance of charcoal here, we must thank them. The spirits. Wake up, Robin. Will you take more soup? Ah, <gasps> uh, 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 no, no, I'm full. I couldn't eat any more. I better get back before it gets dark. Don't worry about that. Huh? Look. <laughs> Look, there he is. Oh, Robin. Oh, Robin, Robin, yay! Oh, Robin, oh, it's you. Robin, are you all right? Hmm? Of course I am. Robin. Oh. Wait, please don't go. You are welcome to stay. Would you and your friends like to see how we make the charcoal? Thanks, but I think we should go. Huh? We're staying, we're staying. We're going to make the charcoal. We're going to make the charcoal. Wow, I've never seen charcoal being made. Now I'll put in the bellows and work up a flame. <laughs> wow! Ooh. Huh? Now we close up the oven. What? But if you close up the oven, the fire will go out, won't it? Yeah, anyone knows that. It needs oxygen to burn. Don't worry, Will or Marion. Our fire is still burning oxygen, even though it's closed. Magic. Oh. We have to close up the fire tightly with this special clay. Will you help us mix it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Look at her. Look at her now. She looks so normal. She's just an ordinary girl. But wait a minute. How did she know their names? It's supernatural. She's a magician, a sorceress. Oh, Robin. Oh, Robin, you lazy bones. Huh? It's not fair. You've got to pull your own weight. <laughs> Robin. Don't forget your promise, Robin. find out if Erica is a sorceress. Still there. Uh, Don't forget your uh, promise, Robin. Huh? Didn't. 
broke your promise. You broke it, didn't you? You brought your friends to spy on us. We must replace what we take from the Earth, Robin. This forest needs a new tree, a young tree. It was for this tree that I was praying when you first found me. But you, you broke your promise to me. Broke your promise. And now my prayer will never be answered. Erica, I didn't mean it. Unless you pray to the spirit of the forest to grant me my request. Of course I will. I'll do anything you ask. Very well. You must choose a young sapling, a tree of the right species for the soil and climate of this forest. A sapling? Yes, of the right species and the right age. Remember, Robin, if you choose well, the spirits of the wood will forgive you. But if you choose badly, if you choose without care and respect, then the spirits of the forest will seek revenge on you and on your little band of playmates. I don't know if I can do this. It's the law, the law of nature. It's the law, Robin, decide, decide. Uh, um. You must decide quickly. We don't have many days left. You must give me your answer the day after tomorrow at dawn. The burning of the wood will be complete then and the charcoal will be ready. The day after tomorrow? Don't fail me. Oh no, Erica! Where's Robin? Has anyone seen him? He was gone when I woke up. He must have left the camp early. Oh. Decide! Decide! Oh, you broke your promise! A tree of the right species! Which tree? Which tree? Which tree? Now watch. <gasps> wow, look at those flames! Which species? Which tree? Where am I going to find the right tree? Oh. If you choose badly, the forest will seek revenge on you and on your little band of playmates. No, no, I can't let that happen. I am. No, you're not. I'd like to help you if there's anything wrong. Whoa! Oh, I go all wobbly with snakes! Huh? Don't worry. He won't hurt you. He's friendly, really. He doesn't look like it from here. This old fellow is magic. And when I say that, I mean it. Twenty years. Twenty years ago, I found him. He was just sitting under a rock looking out at the world when I saw him and he saw me. Well, there we were, staring at each other, when suddenly he said, Do you mind if I say something? Well, as you can imagine, I nearly died. Allow me to introduce myself, he said. My name is Mordred, and I am trapped by this rock, and all my powers are useless. But if you could free me, I will grant you three wishes in honor of the deed. A talking snake? Go on, tell us more! Well, he said, I suppose you want to be incredibly rich. I told him no, but there was something I wanted. Oh no, not that story again. I said I really would like a nice, kind wife to look after me. Suddenly she was there, a dream. She made me so very happy. Now then, said the snake, I am waiting for you to tell me your second wish. Now you want to be incredibly rich, he said. No, I said, I would just love a daughter. My wife agreed with this and soon Erica was born the most beautiful and loving and magical girl you have ever seen. The snake would not relent. Your third wish, he said, do you want diamonds, gold, riches beyond your wildest dreams? Well, I was quite content, so I said, let me be. But he was obsessed. The riches of the East, anything in the world. Wishes, wishes, wishes. Now listen to me, I finally said. I wish you'd just stop talking. 
Well, I tell you, he went all sulky on me, and he hasn't spoken to me since. Oh. Well, this won't do sitting here spinning tails. I'd better get some shut eye. Not yet. Yes, right now. The charcoal won't be ready until dawn. Dawn? I must hurry. Oh, so long. Robin! Robin, where are you going? It's bedtime. Robin, what's the matter? Robin, slow down. Wait for me. Wait for me, Robin. Oh, 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 it's useless. I'll never find it. The right tree. Oh. Robin. Marion. It's just, you're so strange with me. I'm sorry. I hate to hide things from you, but I really can't tell you anything yet. You see, I made a promise and broke it. I think I know who you made your promise to, Robin. Huh? It was Erica, wasn't it? She's really beautiful and intelligent and... Stop talking like that! Mary and I... You are all those things. It's just that she's... Nature's wonder. Nature's wonder? That's the answer! You want to be rich, he said, but I was content. I said, let me be. We must replace what we take from this earth, Robin. Aha! Now that's it! Now I know! Oh, Mary oh. and I could kiss you! <laughs> oh, oh, Robin. Oh, oh, wow! You're right! So long! Acting awful strange. I can still make it. A few more minutes till dawn. Well, did you get it? Did you find a tree? Mm -mm. What? I know you were testing me. Now I understand. You know very well the forest needs a new sapling. You are empty-handed. How can you explain that? Trees of all species can live here, but it is not for me to decide which one, so long as we replace whatever we use. We can only be happy when we respect nature's wonder. Oh, Robin, Robin. Robin, you made a wise choice. That is the answer I was hoping for. You did it. I did it. The forest is a living thing. It breathes just the same as you and me. In fact, it breathes for us. It is our lungs. It gives life to all manner of creatures and plants. That tree you must plant is yourself, Robin. The forests of the planet are in danger and need our protection. No one has the right to destroy nature's harmony. We must respect it or perish. I understand, but just between you and me, do you know who I respect the most in the world? Tell me. <laughs> it's you, Erica. I will never forget you, Robin. You and all your sweetness. I wish you happiness, you and your friends, you and Marion. If you had to choose a tree to remind you of me, what kind would it be? Will you tell me one day? Goodbye, Robin. Goodbye. Goodbye, Erica. Robin, come on, wake up! Huh? What happened to me? You fell asleep in a ditch by the look of you. 
Robin, do you remember last night? What happened to Erica and her father? Oh, they had to move on. They have to search for wood wherever they can find it. Yeah, and they've left us tons of charcoal. That's good. Don't you think they were mysterious people? They could have been magicians or something. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Look. Oh. I guess you could say it's a kind of magic. Maid Marian is set on revenge, and the target for her hatred is none other than Baron Alwyn. One day in Sherwood Forest, the perfect opportunity arises for her to carry out her plan, but the slippery Alwyn manages to turn the tables on her, and the hunter becomes the hunted. Luckily for Marian, Robin is not far away, and once again he comes face to face with his arch enemy. It's showdown time in Sherwood, but who will be the one to walk away from the fight? Find out next time. <laughs>